Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Orn and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you four tips to read more books. We all wanna read more books and often we put obstacles in our way to do so. But in today's video, I'm going to be giving you four easy tips to help you read more books. The first tip is be specific. One of the best things that I ever did in order to read more books was be more specific about the books that I choose to read. Whether it is the topic, the genre or the author, if you know why you want to read a certain book, it really improves your chances of finishing and getting the right information from that book. In my opinion, I avoid bestseller lists and reviewers as best as I can. I think it's good to have one or two reviewers that you rely on, but I think often too many times people just go onto Goodreads or any review channel and they spend most of their time just debating about whether to read a book or not, rather than just reading the book. In my experience, you should choose a book on two factors. Either it's a topic of interest or it's a skill that you're looking to learn. So a topic of interest could be, for instance, a book on history. Something that I like to read is Ottoman history, or for instance, it could be a fiction book. The second is choosing a book on a skill. So for instance, if you're looking to learn more about human psychology, or if you wanna learn about productivity, that is a skill that you're trying to learn and something that you can implement. The better you can be between choosing between one of these categories, the better. Because if you're reading out of interest, that's great because you're interested in the subject. And if you're learning or reading in order to improve on a skill, then at least you have something that you can use in order to read more and actually digest that information. The second tip is to make use of technology. One of the most common questions I get is whether I prefer hardback, audiobook or ebook. And if I'm going to be honest, I prefer all of them. It's just dependent upon the time in which I'm looking to digest and actually read a book. For instance, if I'm at home, then I'm always going to go to a hard copy book just because it's easy and it's accessible and it's my preferred medium of reading. But if I'm traveling or if I'm, for instance, in the car or in the gym, then I'll listen to an audiobook. And if I'm traveling long distance and I don't wanna be taking four or five books with me, then I will take my Kindle or an iPad with me so that I can read there. So I don't necessarily think that one is better than the other, but I definitely think that you can improve your chances of reading more books if you use all of them combined. The third tip is learn how to review. And in this situation, I don't mean, you know, create book reviews online and get people to watch those reviews. I'm talking about how you can actually read a book, take the information from that book and use it in order to help yourself. So you have a own personal review system for you to use that information. So for me, that goes into certain stages. For instance, it's taking notes, documenting those notes, and having a accessible routine so that you can review that material regularly. And the better you are in nailing down this process, the better. I have a video on my channel about how to take effective notes. I definitely think that's a great place to start in order to think about how you can take better notes from reading. And I also have a video on how to create a book summary. And I think a book summary is one of the best things that you can do once you've finished reading a book. This is often because reading isn't actually about the time that you spent reading a book with your face in front of the page. It's actually how much time you spend after you finished reading, reviewing the material and actually thinking about the things that you've read. So the more effort that you can put up front to making sure that the information that you take from the book is relevant, the better it is along the line that you can actually use that information for the better. The last tip is a sort of a tongue in cheek one and it's make it fun. I think a lot of people stress too much when they wanna read a book. They force themselves to follow a strict routine and they only want to, you know, they wanna read as many books as they can in a short period of time. But I think this goes back to what I talked about in the first tip is being specific because if you have something that you're looking to learn and something to improve on, it's automatically gonna make the process more fun. And by fun, I don't necessarily mean that you're gonna enjoy it. I liken reading to any form of self-improvement, exercise, namely one that comes to mind because when you're doing it, it's not something that's enjoyable, but it's one of those things that once you see the fruits from your labor and you see how different you feel, the more enjoyment you get from it. So when you're reading a difficult book and one that's challenging you, it's not gonna be fun during it, but when you can actually use that information and you see improvements in different areas of your life, that's where the fun comes in. 
I always think it's great to challenge yourself when you're reading, to read about different topics and things that are outside your comfort zone. For me, that's physics books because I am no nowhere near a scientist. I'm a computer software engineer by profession, but a scientist or a physician, physician, uh, a physics professor isn't something that is uh, in the horizon for me. So I try to try to uh, challenge myself by reading those types of books. But for you, it could be history, it could be economics, it could be fiction, whatever it might be. I definitely think challenging yourself is one of those things that makes it fun. Those have been my four tips about how to read more books. Hopefully you found them helpful. And I definitely recommend checking out the videos that I mentioned earlier on how to take effective notes and how to write a perfect book summary. I definitely recommend checking those out. I'll put the link in the description below. Thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.